boss after the winter break, good to get everybody back again. Certainly is, it was uh, great to get them all back in. Uh, got Saeed round the place, you know, one or two others back in as well in training, so so good. They've all enjoyed, a, they all had the best part of a week off, so uh, hopefully they're all refreshed, ready to go again. Uh, and hopefully it'll have done them the world of good. And there's a good vibe amongst the squad. Oh, they're in a great spirits, the squad, you know, we, we know we know how well they've done in the first half of the season, so they should be in good spirits and uh, we're going to try and go into the second half of the se season really positive and we've freshened them up a little bit now hopefully, so uh, we're looking forward to the sort of the remaining part of the season. It was a, it was a late night Monday. So it was a late night, you know, I'd have loved to have said that we had everything done in dusty early doors, but uh, look, it wasn't for the want to try and that's for sure and uh, you know, the West Ham supporters can be reassured we were we were really ambitious and trying to get good players and players who could help us and make a difference. But we've also got Jared Bowen. It would be very hard to get a better backup to Mickey Antonio than Jared Bowen. So overall, you know, I, I, all I can say is the board have been fantastic. We've probably made three record transfer bids from the club in this January window. And let's be fair, January's never, never really a great time. We've been quite good in January in the main. You know, the last few Januaries we've been here, we've, uh, we've signed and we've sort of done quite well. But this one, for some reason, became tougher. But I also believe it's probably been tougher because we're we're looking at a much different level of player now and trying to attract uh, some of the top players throughout Europe. You're not you're not playing video games. You're working with real money and, and a lot of money. Well, I think that's one thing I want to do is I want to make sure that the, the supporters at West Ham can, can trust that I'm trying to spend their money wisely and we're trying to bring in good players. But also, no, we don't want to bring people in who I think are only here just to pad it up and, you know, maybe makes everybody in the media think that we've done a bit of, a bit of good business. The idea in this job is to try and sign good players. We're building, we're growing really well. Uh, I think what we're really looking forward to now is, the, is what's coming ahead of us in the second half of the season. I, I see nearly every game now being a cup final. I hope we're in a cup final somewhere along the road, but but I really do think that we've got we've got you know nearly every game now will be a cup final because it'll either be meaning that we're challenging for places in Europe or we're trying to get through in the the FA Cup or we're trying to get through in the Europa Cup. So. Uh, I see the second half of the season being really exciting for us. Exciting's the word, isn't it? We're all going to the stadium, home and away. Exciting. Yeah, I think the team. I think the team are showing that as well. I think the team. So, so I'm, I'm hoping that the players can uh, can get right back to their top form. Obviously, we've just recently got Crazy and Cut back as well, which is has given us a boost as well. We've got Saeed now back from the African Nations as well. So, we're we're very close to sort of full tilt with our squad at the moment, only Angelo is the, the one who we're really missing, so hopefully we can keep them all fit and keep them in good form. You said the word trust, your track record suggests that we should trust the process under David Moyes. Well, I'd, I'd hope so now because we've brought in some good players, I think, uh, I think we want to do it again, we want to keep it going. I think what I said before, I said last year actually, when we were successful last year I thought sometimes you, know, you can have a not quite so easy in your second season to to do it again. If anything, we've come back stronger and looked better. So we have to say that that's that's been good in the first half of this season. We've been we've been good. So the job now is for me to keep the players fresh, feeling sharp and training, uh, prepared, ready for every game. If I can do that, I think we'll have a chance of winning a lot of them, and that's the that's what I'm going to try and do. And, and hopefully, uh, no. I've got lots of trust in the players. We play different players and different teams in Europe and cups as well. And uh, and I hope the players have got lots of trust in me. So hopefully that's building all throughout the club as well now. And under your methods, we can see it with our own eyes. Players get better. Yeah, well, I hope that's the case. I mean, I, I think part of being a manager, you know, that you don't always have the best players, but your job's to try and make them the best they can be. So I see it as my challenge to to try and get them the best they can, you know, try and squeeze every little bit of the of the orange and get everything out of them. And I think in most occasions we are, we're, we're trying to get everything we can. We've got some players who've been in stunning form, sparkling form, scoring goals, playing well, and uh, 
I think I think we're I think we're on the right tracks to building a good team. And we're all together. Very much so. You know the club. I mean, I have to I have to say, and going back, you know, everybody within the club's club's been brilliant. They really have been. But you know, I have to say, there's been a lot of sometimes those things said about the board. The board in this transfer window have been brilliant. They have backed me, tried to support me in in all the moves. I've got to say the work. What Karen Brady's done to try and you know see if we could get some deals and get things happening, she's been really good. David Sullivan's been really supportive. Daniel's just come in. David Gold, they've they've all been really really good in helping helping me over the window. So uh, you know it's always good when your owners are, are helping you and, and trusting you as well. We're growing. We're going going the right direction, and uh, hopefully we can keep that going. If I cut Premier League, you open around the 16 draw in the next few weeks. I think we're really looking forward to them all. I mean, we, we can only ever take one game at a time. You know, we, we want, I really want to stay strong in the Premier League. I'm, I'm trying to, determined to try and hang in and see what we can do right to the end. Uh, because I, I believe that the league's your sort of bread and butter and you, if you do well in the league, it shows that you've, been a, you've got a level of consistency. You're, you're, you know, you're doing a lot of things right most weeks. Would I love to win a cup? I certainly would. I think having good cup runs is really important for the supporters. I think it's important for the club as well. But you know, everybody wants a good cup run. We do as well. We had, we, I think we had a, a pretty good run in the in the Carabao Cup, albeit, you know, we would have liked to go on a bit further than we did. But we want to start getting nearer the semis and finals and, and winning cups if we can. And I think the European competitions are really big big thing for us because I think we're all excited about the, the thought of the draw. I mean, there's there's not a bad team left in the competition at the moment. And we've got European football in March to look fo forward to. So uh, so there's a lot of things we, you know, we can really get ready for and be excited about.